Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm trying to, to test out a different format here um, through a way that I can actually stream and stream uh, in one platform. So I'm hoping that you guys are seeing this in all platforms. So let me go on and check it out. Let's see if it goes. Yes, it shows so me. I'm hoping that you guys are Good day to all. I am on live. You guys know I'm on live. And I don't like going on live because, well, sometimes when I go on live, um, I don't know if you guys are with me or you're not with me. So I like to plan. I like to edit. And I like to prepare things just for you. Right now, I am hoping you jump on. I know it's early. That's okay. It's Saturday. You're live. My husband was telling me that it wasn't good to do this this early on a Saturday. But you know what? I'm trying out this new streaming, and I said I'm just going to take a chance. That's why I have been um, exploring different platforms. So good morning, good morning. If you're on Facebook, you might be on my Tender Heart page. You might be on my YouTube page. You might be on any of my pages. But I wanted to start making once a month uh, for you to have breakfast. Sometimes it could be lunch with me. Now, it's not polite for me to eat while I'm actually on, you know, talking to you. Who am I? Well, you can see by the banner that I'm Arlene from Adelante with Arlene, also known as freestyle recording artist from the 80s. Today, I just felt like being a little retro-ish and decided to just put a little bandana over my short hair. I hope that's okay with you. Good morning. Are you out there? This is the time. This is the time to ask me any questions you want to ask me. This is the time. There's so much things you want to ask me. A lot of times I notice, but I can't get to you all. So, as you know, I am on um, YouTube most of the time now, and I am the host of a show, Adelante with Arlene. I don't like to really say show, but it's my channel and where I do all things inspirational. If you're out there, please write in the comments. I am streaming right now to test this out. I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm streaming on Facebook and all the different pages I have. And I wanted to say good morning and try out this new streaming um, way to do things so that when I throw my party in December, I'll have all of you there with me on the chat. Yes, I have plans to do my virtual birthday party um, online under Adelante with Arlene, but it'll be on Facebook, it'll be on YouTube, it'll be on so forth and so, yeah, I will just post it. And I am looking and I have two in mind already for DJ who will be my guest playing on. You'll see him, you'll see me, you'll see my husband on the screen. He'll be moderating and it's going to be in December and it's probably going to be on the day of my birthday, December 12th on a Saturday, or it might be a Friday night, depending on the availability of the DJ online. So things are different now. I usually would throw a big party. But this year, I'm going to throw it virtually straight from the house that we live in here in Florida. And you will have an opportunity to just spend some time with me, with the DJ, with my husband, and just do things different. So again, this is, you see it on the banner. This is, where is it? Here, here, here. There it goes. Adelante with Arlene, host and freestyle music artist. Now, 
as you see, I may look a little kooky this morning. I wanted to get a little retro for you guys, you know, and I'll throw the glasses and I'll, I'll give you like a way back. I just didn't want the glare. So guys, I'm here. Say hello, write a comment. I know it's early in the morning and you're saying, oh God, she's got so much energy. Why is she, what does she want? She's always talking. Yes, I am. I wanna thank you all that are from the TikTok world who have really incredibly helped me and have been subscribing faster than any of my other venues that are coming, my subscribers from, a lot of them from TikTok. And I thank you all for um, going on to my YouTube, following me there. I am so excited about that. I also have an Instagram. If you don't know, go follow me on my Instagram. I'm giving you all the information to let you start writing your questions. I'm on Instagram as well under free, Arlene Freestyle Music. Um, I have also my classics t-shirts. I have also a page on that. And as you know, on Facebook, I have several pages. And right now you might be seeing me on the Tender Heart page. You might be seeing me on the Arlene profile page, or you might be seeing and viewing me and hearing me on YouTube. So guys, the reason I took this time out is not to give you a whole um, schmeal about things, um, which is not wrong with that. That's what I do. But also, you know, that I speak about things of the Lord and try my best to encourage you as I encourage myself in the Lord. But the reason I'm here today, this morning, so early and tired without having really my proper breakfast is because I want to get to know you. And so many times, I mean, my desire is for you to just chat with me. The chat should be open. I am seeing here. Um, let me see and make sure that it's working. And uh, let me see. Hi, everyone. So that way um, I can have a conversation with you because you mean a lot to me, guys. So I just wrote it and I hope you guys saw it. Don't know how that works here on the other pages. Ah, I see here that I'm trying to see all your, your messages, but I kind of been seeing them more. Okay, so I'm seeing them on my other page. So let's see, let's, all right. So Carlos, thank you so much for telling me what you just said about me being an awesome singer. Um, sorry, I didn't get to see that message till right now. Um, it seems to be that I'm still learning how to work this page. So let me view it on Facebook. Let's see. I'm here. Don't worry about it. I just want to see your. All right. I see it here. And great. But what I really want to do is hear you guys on this platform. So now I need to go back. I'm sorry, I'm working this out myself. Live. So I'm trying to work this out. I go to these different venues and it is telling me nothing. <laughs> I want to go back to the Hello, everyone. If you're out there, write to me on the chat. I want to be able to communicate with you all. <clears throat> I was just checking out the other venues that I happen to be on. I see about 12 people. Yeah. So do me the favor, please. Get online, chat with me. If you want me to talk to you about something, you know that I got a lot to talk about, but I love to hear from you. You know, there's so many times before when I did shows 
that with leather and lace and myself solo back in the days that I was unable to um, really spend time. I was unable to spend time with the fans that now have become more friendly with me via Facebook. And I've had the pleasure through the years to meet many of you in person. It was a different time, you know, guys. And we had to be rushed up and gone to, you know, the next show that we were about to do. But now because of social media, I have a desire so much to be able to communicate with y'all and get to know you better. Because my whole ministry and my whole uh, way of being and what I do now is more people oriented in regards to, um, I understand a performer is a performer and, I, and, and when I get on stage, I perform, I bring forth a song. But as you know now that I'm a Christian woman, I um I like to, I, I I'm into people and 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 I just love people and I um care about people and you are those people <laughs> that I care about. So I would love for you to chat with me. It's early. All you gotta do is just type it in there. If you guys didn't know, I have a lot of videos on YouTube. I work really hard on those videos. And on those videos under Adelante with Arlene, which you will see there, right there, 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 <laughs> you will see um, there's playlists. And in some of those playlists, I have freestyle performances of mine, even some new music performances on the playlist. On some other playlists, I have something called My Thoughts, My Thoughts. My Thoughts also, um, I had done years ago in a book. You guys might not even know this. And it's for sale on blurb.com. This is the soft cover, Blonde Me. How oh, I miss the blonde girl. And this is the hard cover. And it's on blurb.com. And it's called My Thoughts, which is also the series in which I have like 10 to 15 minute videos that I did when I started this whole YouTube back in like 2009. And so I let YouTube go for all those years and I come back last year and guys, it's changed. You literally have to have a thousand subscribers now before you can get monetized. Could you believe that? Well, I am so grateful, like I said, to the people everywhere at all the social media uh, venues, but I am so grateful to you all that are actually uh, on on, on TikTok that have been coming on to my Adelante with Arlene on YouTube. So again, Adelante with Arlene also has, I don't even know my thoughts, like I said, um, which inspired the book, but it also has <clears throat> the inspirational teachings and word that I give you based upon my studies, my love of Christ, my love of people. And I let you in on some very personal things about myself in those videos. I also have videos there that speak about, I call, my next book is going to be called From Freestyle Music to Faith. And that also I speak a bit about in some of the videos that are entitled such as From Freestyle to Faith, but it's going to be From Freestyle Music to Faith. Let me see, what else do I have there on YouTube? Uh, oh, we just started cooking and baking on Adelante with Arlene. But I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm usually the one behind the camera in that one, not in front of the camera. The person who does most of the cooking or the baking, right now we've done more baking. My husband is the cook. He's incredible, he's fabulous. And we share, and I ask him to tweak and change some of these desserts into something that's more vegan and organic. Coming up this weekend, we're gonna be taping one that is going to be a vegan pumpkin pie, which I'm going to attempt to do and he will be behind the camera and I will be behind the camera for him and he's going to do a regular but with a little adjustments a flan. So I want you to keep posted for that one because you know how we love to eat. Also on um, Adelante with Arlene playlist we have the food, we have the music. Ah there are some gospel where I have uh, <clears throat> excuse me sang at some churches and you will find me there singing as well. Um, I think that's about it for those, those right there, you know, that I have put together. But I just wanted to um, encourage you to keep, keep tuning in to Adelante with Arlene. Um, 
please continue to share the videos with your friends. Uh, you've supported me through the years when it came to the music. And some of you say, who is this girl? <clears throat> when you're on my page, you know who I am. And if you're on YouTube, well, I'm a former freestyle 80s recording artist, originally from New York City, the Boogie Down Bronx. I am from the Castle Hill area in the Bronx, where in New York was where we started and originated the freestyle, what is known as freestyle music today, who, yes, guys out there in the YouTube land that may not know our music, <clears throat> literally was played on radio stations, was played and was charted. It is part of a history that we still are continuing to stick to, you know, keep alive. I have transitioned. I have transitioned into more gospel as well as I did do some freestyle Latino Spanish sounding songs on Miami Freestyle Records, which you will find under Freddie Lopez, either on his page or you're going to find it on his YouTube pages where you will hear new music that I did on there uh, a few years ago when I moved to Florida. So guys, talk to me, because I want to hear from you. The only person that I see here on YouTube that wrote to me uh, is Carlos. My husband said to me, you're crazy doing this so early. Nobody's going to join you on a Saturday at this time. I guess he was right. And I really just don't want to ramble on, but I'll stay on for a little bit. Because I really haven't written anything down to discuss because it was supposed to be quite informal, as you guys know. Is there anything else I want to talk to you about? I'm just hoping I didn't want to get too serious today. I have a little fun with you. Today, yes, October 31st today, is the day that I celebrate being in the Lord for 30 years, 30 years of walking with the Lord, 30 years, a day at a time of discovering a freedom and a new life. Prior to those 30 years, some of you may know, I was signed at the age of 19 to my first recording contract. Mm -hmm. 19. And when I started, there was no music with the name freestyle. It was called eventually Latin hip hop. Then probably by my second recording with Leather and Lace, it changed or maybe my third to what is known today as freestyle music. So I am one of those from the old school freestyle music. Many of you know Leather and Lace, the three girl group. I sang Tender Heart, lead on that one. Um, the song is about me, uh, written by my friend on the stoop of my mother's house. And I brought it to the label and they asked me, do you want to be solo or do you want to uh, form a group? And I was quite a shy girl, not a talker like I am now, hard to believe and a bit insecure. So I said, I will do a three girl group. You see, I never thought of myself as a performer. I thought of myself as just that I loved to sing. And therefore, there was so much other things I had to do. So now I needed to dance. And now I needed to, to uh, you know, just go into the studio, things I had never done before. So when I formed a group, the three-girl group known as Leather and Lace, I was asked, what did I want to call the group? And I said, Leather and Lace. And that's because I wore a lot of leather and lace back in the days where I was a young girl working at TSS department store, where I happened to meet little Louis Vega. We worked together, so I know him from way back then. So guys, I used to be like that young girl that was at the clubs when clubs let you in at a really early age. Because if I got signed at 19, you all know that I was going to clubs when I was much early, younger. And when I went to the clubs, I made sure that I established friendships with the DJs because I was determined to one day become a recording artist. So in that journey, there was some ups and there was some downs. As you all know, by the fourth record, I went solo as Arlene and did the record that finally radio started playing our music. And that was after four songs. After I went to the fourth record and that was We Can Work It Out. We can work it out, baby. I know that we can, we can work it out, maybe. 
And then it was picked up by yet another radio station in New York, making it top 10 and charted. And as a result, my life started going quite fast. Shows every single day and four shows in one night on the Saturdays. Sunday was the only day I had off unless I was doing some promos or some outdoor beach concert or something. Yes, I did do those kind of shows. And yes, I have been around for a long time. But today is the day I celebrate my new life 30 years ago. There's so much more that I'm going to include when I write my book. Writing my book is not easy because you have to touch areas in your life that maybe you don't want to share with nobody. It's just, but I know that you can, you'll be able to possibly relate and see the light at the end of the tunnel as um, it's going to take you through my journey. And I try to do that with Adelante, with Arlene. You know, I, um, do I miss singing? Okay. I miss singing. I truly miss singing. Do I miss all the hoopla that goes with it? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to like, well, especially not now. I don't want to travel. I don't want to be like, oh my God, you know, like even here I have to put makeup on makeup. No, no, no. I, I, I don't. I don't want that life anymore. I chose not to have that life, especially because I'm a married woman and I just like to put God first and then my husband and myself. But, um, I do miss singing and I have a desire to maybe, uh, hopefully as we were thinking of doing is maybe uniting with the girls and doing a reunion in which it would take time because it's been years, years. And, you know, we need to rehearse and plan and all that good stuff. And of course it wouldn't be here in Florida. No offense to my lovely Florida people, but the first would have to be in New York city because that is our home. That's where we come from. That's where we, that's where the two other ladies are at. I'm the one over here in Florida. And then later on, it would be, you know, other places. But for right now, um, you know, when I went solo, it was the best choice I had to make for myself. And I am grateful for that choice. And I, you know, that's what I did. And, and, it, and it worked for me. But during the time in the music business, I think it just went so fast for me. That's how I feel. Like, look, I'm 30 years in the Lord. So you, you guys know that I started singing at 19, that there was a period there of ups and downs. When I say ups and downs is, is that I literally kind of, I lost my way. Hmm. What do I mean by I lost my way? I have talked about this in videos before. I literally feel like my identity was always in and lined up with what I did, which was being a recording artist. My identity was just so immersed in music that when if you don't have if you if you if, if you if the rug gets pulled from under you as it did to many of the freestyle artists and now there were no venues that were you know um booking us anymore and things just changed drastically you know what do you do then right so my downfall was that that time between no longer having radio supporting the freestyle music and things dying down to the present reality that I was in. I was only known as, and I only knew myself as freestyle recording artist Arlene. I loved it. I loved what I did. Yeah. And I did love the hoopla back then. I was quite young and I enjoyed it. So that started becoming my downfall because now I'm, I have to, I have, I'm battling within self. Who am I? What do I do? And it's just so many other things just started popping up, you know, and I was still a single woman making bad choices for myself. And there came a time, which you'll read in my book, where I hit my bottom and my bottom is the reality of saying, snap out of it, Arlene. That's not what you're doing anymore, but that's not who you really are. So let's get it together and let's move on forward y seguir adelante, and let's start growing in those areas where you need growth so that any other time that things happen and you have obstacles coming your way or doors that close, you're not going to um, be destroyed. You're not going to be uh, down and out. You're not going to be um, hopeless, that you'll be able to rise above that dust and, and above the rubble. You'll be able to rise. 
And so Adelante with Arlene was birthed within my heart. I think, like I said, I think it was 2009, sitting in my the bedroom I had in my mother's house when I was a single woman. And I would go back and forth from Florida to New York. And I felt in my heart that I wanted to just take a camera and go everywhere and kind of show you all what I was doing. And at that time, it was more possible to do, as you all know, especially because I was single and I had studied journalism in college, believe it or not, before I was taken out to become a recording artist. I was in college at 17. And as I said, I became a legit recording artist at 19. So um, when I was sitting there and this came to me, I just started taking this little camera. I asked my friend Michaela, Michaela Logue, uh, Log, which was Michaela TV, a very good friend that came out of my wedding. She told me, get this tiny little camera, very inexpensive, do this, do that. And that's what I started doing. And you're going to see some of those older videos on my YouTube. YouTube back then only allowed us to record maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes the most. And you know, I'm a talker. So basically I had to edit these videos and do them in part ones and part twos and part threes or whatever they were. And that's when I started opening up in my blonde self back then. I started opening up in regards to where I was at and what I was doing and all the above. But I put down this vision for of Adelante with Arlene um, for about eight years because I got married and I had to move and there was just so much transition. And therefore, I decided to I'll put it down. I wasn't even inspired because moving in itself permanently from New York to Florida, that was a big deal. I didn't mind going back and forth when I was single, but as a married woman to find stability now with my husband and staying still in Florida, which is where I wanted to be, was quite hard because things here are very different. Nothing is like New York City, nor will it ever be like New York City. I'm not putting down Florida, but I am a New Yorker, you know, and I am accustomed to so many things that are just not the same everywhere else you go. So I didn't have any inspiration to do no Adelante with Arlene, no inspiration to talk to you all. I actually no, no, I had no desire for nothing, really. And I was trying to get a job. But last year, and I did, I had various jobs here and there, but I, I just felt like my creativity was dying. Like, you know, God, what do I do next? Never even touched. I didn't even go to my YouTube for that many years. I went to YouTube basically just to hear music. And last year, July, just last year, July, I felt that so much in my heart during a time that I was feeling very low, guys. I was in a very dark place. I've been afflicted by many different illnesses. And a lot of nonsense was happening in my body. And right there, July in 2019, you can go look up that video live on the air through some streaming. It was pouring out and I was with a co-host. I had the worst pain in my mouth on my left side as I was trying to talk so bad, so bad, so bad that the tears were rolling down my eyes. And I told my co-host to take over and to tell the people to pray. So here I am. I put that aside, didn't I, for like how many years? And I followed my heart to get back on YouTube to go and minister to everybody and to get back on and to talk the word of God. And what happens? My mouth is being attacked and pains and the nerves on the left side of my mouth. Guys, you would think that would stop me. But instead of encouraging more, I had to go to a neurologist. I was diagnosed with um, a disease um that there's a nerve that gets pressed on the left side of my head and um a lot of people have this and they give me medication four three times a day but now i take it only twice a day because god is good and eventually i believe i will get off that medication because in the middle of the day that medication was making me way too tired and so i push forward and you will see some videos of me because i want to be honest with you guys and you will see the pain in my eyes you know, before I got the lights going on, before I learned how to, about to stream on multi-stream, before all that, it was me on my couch and me being real with you and me singing even through it and praising through it because that's who I am now. 30 years later, I am Arlene, the one that used to do freestyle, the one that used to do things that weren't pleasing to God. I'm Arlene now that is just sold out for Jesus Christ. 
but still understands that every step that I took in music and on my journey was a step towards and a stepping stone to where I am at now. So if you are feeling sick today, if you're feeling lowly today, if you're feeling lonely today, I've actually don't, done videos on that. You can see it on the thumbnail. It'll say loneliness, um, health journey. Uh, if you're feeling discouraged, um, go listen to one of the songs that I sang a little bit, you know, like maybe because you all I give him glory. Because of who he is, I give him praise. Because of who he is, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Oh, Lord, I worship you because of who he is. I get such a joy saying the things of God, the words, the, 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 the messages of God. So guys, I know that during this time, I think about you all and I don't even know you, but that's the way God works in the hearts of his people. And I think about those that are lonely. I think about my single friends. I think about my single friends um, that I know that are, that I've spoken to my guy friends, I'm really close to a lot of my friends in New York city. And I tell you, I know it has to be hard to follow the guidelines because of the pandemic we're in and to have some reservation or fears as well in regards to what do I do now? I mean, you can't tell me that at least not one time a day you don't think about how things used to be and how they're not right now. You know what I mean? And will they ever be and how fast and how not? And then some of us get to that place where we just say, oh, the heck with it all, I don't care. And that's what causes, you know, the enemy to come in and attack us. And then, you know, we have allowed ourselves to not be protected anymore. I suggest in my heart, I will tell you this as I tell my friends, that to stand strong in God and to believe that in due time, this too shall pass. And while things are never going to be like they were in the manner that they were, because yesterday is yesterday and yesterday's already passed away, it will be and it will exist. And there will be a way to do as we did before to some degree, but a bit changed and maybe affected or maybe more aware. Some affected in a really bad way, of course. I have friends that have had uh, the, um, you know, the COVID-19 and thank the Lord they have survived. I have friends that did not survive. So I'm not coming from a place of um, not having empathy or sympathy. But I just want to encourage you to please take this time to not look at the things you can't do, but look at the things you can do today to make a difference in your life. Sometimes, you know, we might have been far apart from family in regards to the ones you're living with. And we might have not spent enough time with them. We were too busy with our jobs. We were too busy with our phones. We were too busy with whatever. And now we have been forced to um, have it to be together in, in, in the same place all the time. And, you know, I know you're not under quarantine per se, but I mean, you still are together, living together. And there's still restrictions when you leave and come back. At least there should be for the safety of your family. And as a result, you have found more bonding time with each other. There's also been the opposite effect of that. You might be married and now you're clashing with each other even more because you had more time with each other. You might work less hours now and there's this clashing going on. Well, I encourage you to take this time to work, work it out, like my song said. It wasn't easy for my husband and I neither. He went from working two jobs in the food industry, hardly being home, which I miss him a lot, to being home a lot for a bit. And he would get me crazy and I would get him crazy. But the truth of the matter is we have work, worked it out and um, his hours are better now. And now he has a better job. And it's no longer in the food industry. And I get to see my hubby. And I have times to tape my videos when he's not here and be nice and quiet. And then I have time with him. And he's very involved in what I do now. He takes care of a lot of my TikTok. He, he tells me who's who you guys that are, you know, subscribing. 
I tell him, write this, write that. I dictate things to him. He writes it down for, I mean, he types it out for me, for you guys, while I'm working on the other social media. Because he's also running the bonfire a lot, which is the uh, freestyle, Arlene's freestyle classic t-shirts. Guys, I have t-shirts, but there's also some uh, long sleeve t-shirts with freestyle memorabilia, my personal memorabilia. Nobody can have it because it's my personal mem mem memorabilia that I have put on my Arlene's freestyle classics. And you can find all that on my YouTube. The links are all there on any of my profiles on Instagram. All the links are there and there's a page there and everything else is social media. All the links are there, even on YouTube, even on the descriptions of my videos. I also have the Adelante with Arlene um, inspired, be inspired t-shirts that I do that are um, about inspiration, you know, whether it's about praying, which I got one. I should have brought it to show you, but I'm probably going to wear it on my birthday for you guys. I have mugs. I'm about to get my mugs. So when I sit once a month with you guys, but I want a Q and A, I don't want to be the only one talking. I mean, like, really? No, I don't want to talk. I want you guys to talk to me. So I'm seeing here that some people have popped on because I am going here on my um, Facebook now. And I know that Freddie, hi, Freddie. You know, it's funny, Freddie. I can't see you on my, I can't see these comments, which I'm going to work out on the stream yard that I'm in. But I went to Facebook and I saw it. So hello, Freddie. Hello, hello. And hello, everyone else who's out there that I do not see your comments on the stream but I will work that out another time. So, Freddie, if you're still on, Freddie Lopez is writing to me, please write to me, Freddie, because I want to be able to, um, to tell you something. <laughs> you know, so please let me know. And hello, Juan, if you're still on, because I'm seeing here that you gave me some love. Thank you so much for that. As I mentioned before, um, sorry, I'm not seeing and I should be seeing all your comments on the stream, but for whatever crazy reason, it's not allowing me to see it. So I will fix that up and I am going on the page so that I will be able to, um, you know, all right, let's see what I can do here. So as I was chatting and chatting, and chatting. <laughs> so anyway, I care a lot about you guys. And um, it means so much to me to get to know you. It means so much to me to be there available for you in regards to um, if you need prayer, um, if you find yourself in a place where you're, so, you know, ladies, if you're so ladies, <laughs> if you're so lonely, ladies, and you need somebody to talk to, um, I'll be more than happy to um, engage with you in the chat and in private and pray for you, you know. Um, for the gentlemen, if you need prayer, it's the same thing. If you need prayer, um, and if if there's um, anything I can do to help you to encourage you, please know that I'd love to do that. You know, in this time of day, you know, I heard I heard Max. Uh, I think it was Max Lucado. Don't remember which one it was. The point is, I heard a pastor say that the percentage the of um, suicides before the pandemic was already extremely high. So uh, we're aware that even now for some, it's even extremely higher. But I encourage you today that if you're feeling so down, so out, and you don't think there's a way out, I'm telling you that there is a way out. You are breathing today and, and God loves you. And there's so many people you may think don't love you, but they love you. But most of all, God loves you. And when you have the love of God, I tell you, it will cover everything. It, it, it covers a multitude of sins. It, it, it will give you, you become grateful for your existence. You become grateful for what you have and, and, and stop looking at what you don't have. I'm speaking from a place of, of, I'm being real. I know what it's like to go into dark places. It's happened to me. Listen, I never suffered from depression clinically. I'm, I, I really never had, but I had about three periods in my life where I so went into this dark place and didn't ever know if I was going to come out. And when you're in that dark place of, of, of disarray, of, of, of confusion, of, and then you're sick and, and you feel weak, when you're in that place of darkness, fear, it comes up and it wants to become the biggest thing. And fear tries to grip you. 
And when fear gets you, my God, it's down from there. You just go downhill. So I'm going to tell you today, the way that I got myself out of that wasn't because I'm better than you or stronger than you. It's because of Christ Jesus. I fought in praise and worship by praising God, even in the hard times. I fought even in my tears when I didn't know what I, what I was going to do. I fought in prayer as I just prayed and spoke out to God. I fought by doing these videos on YouTube and letting myself be, I'm going to cry, transparent to you, transparent and showing you my pain. That's how I was able to overcome and tell you that I understand. I understand. I understand what it was to lose jobs. I understand what it's like to hit walls and not understand why this is happening to you. I understand what it's like to get one sickness after the other and, and think you're never going to get over it. Listen, guys, about two weeks ago, all I did was come down the stairs and I was going to a kitchen, which is a narrow path. And something was in the way that was in between something that when I walked through, I was fine. But when I walked out of the kitchen, I broke my little toe on my left foot. And right now I got a little booty on my, on my foot. And that right now, which I hate doing this now because I don't want to be out there, you know, like going to doctor's offices and all the above. I have to now go to a, a specialist on Monday. And it takes a while for a broken toe to even heal. So I was so bummed, but I was grateful that this time I lived in a house that's two floors. The apartment I lived was two floors before, but it didn't have a bathroom downstairs. And I have a bathroom. And I have a big living room now and I have two bathrooms downstairs and I rent and I'm able to have this extra room where I can do these videos. So yeah, I broke my toe and I'm so mad about that. <laughs> and because I don't know why to nowhere, cause I have a curvature on my spine too. Yeah, guys, that's the insanity. So all of a sudden this got swollen over here. This was like two days ago. My arm was hurting me. My neck was hurting me really bad. It's because I have been spending so much time editing videos for the YouTube. Mind you, might have been just two videos. It's that time consuming to edit videos that I literally was bummed out again. But because I've been in that dark place before that I'm talking about, I had to take a rest for like two days and lay out on the sofa, put up a pillow and prop up my foot look out the window and let the beautiful sunlight come in and appreciate that and watch some Hallmark Christmas movies <laughs> and get encouraged about that. And, you know, and just stay still so that I can um, recoup. And then by the third day, it was two days, yeah, I decided that I wanted to do a video and I did and I'm about to edit it. I haven't edited it yet. It's been, um, and it's a good video about humility and meekness and the differences and um, the struggle that I had with those words when I read them on the Bible. And what I mean is that um, in my own pride and in my own, um, I deserve this because I think I deserve this, which is lack of humility. I tend to, if you allow to let the things, the circumstances get me so down that um, it will put me in a paralyzed state, a, a state of fear, or a state of um, paralyzed in a sense, not moving forward. No seguir adelante. That's why I always say, sigue adelante. Go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward with God. So because I've learned from my own mistakes, sometimes the fear wants to come up again. And I'm like, oh my God, I have a curvature on my spine. Oh my God, I'm going to be 57. What does that mean? Oh my God, the pain in my mouth. Oh my, I, listen. <laughs> I got to focus on today and focus on getting better and focus on eating better and focus on the awesomeness that is in front of me and the sunlight that shines through the window. I have to focus and not look at those other things that become your distractions. Right now, every one of you is being affected. Every one of you has suffered some kind of loss, whether it's unfortunately a physical loss of a person that you love, or you might have a financial loss, which is huge. Both of them are horrible. Yes, we are all feeling it. But I ask you to please put your trust in God. And instead of being divided, unite yourselves. Unite yourselves with those that you love. 
unite yourselves. I was invited to Thanksgiving, of course, at my um, family's house. Um, I know that they take care of themselves, but I also know that, you know, things are the way they are and they still have to go outside and they still have to go to work, you know, and, and um, all the above. But I made a decision. It's not fear, but I made a decision that I'm not going to have Thanksgiving with a group of people. And I mean, because I don't live with this group of people. I'm not going to do that. I decided to possibly have some Thanksgiving and record it online, maybe go live. I'm really serious with me and my husband. I decided that I'm going to have a birthday party online and hope that you join me. I'll, have, I'll be doing it with a DJ. I'm going to learn how to, you know, multi-stream here with this this thing here. And now I got to learn on how to get those comments, you know, so that I can see them here on real time and not have to go to Facebook. Um, and I decided that instead of feeling down that I wanted to share with the world virtually my birthday, I bought decorations. They're coming soon. Um, it's, uh, Hey, I can't sit here and cry about what can I be right now. And Jimmy, I just see, I went to Facebook right now. Don't know if you're on, but um, you're welcome, Jimmy. Um, I decided I'm going to have to, because when I look at the screen on Facebook, I am at a different place, but the actual comments um, are there and I don't see them on my other when I'm in real time. So thank you for sharing what you wrote. Um, yes, thank you. You know, and as I was saying, you know, suicide is real. I'm going to go back to that because of a comment I got. Suicide is real. And um, what people feel is real. What we feel when we're in that state is real. But the way that I say again, that I've counteracted that reality is by shining light in that reality. And the light is the light of Christ. Guys, I said it one time, and sometimes it's hard for me to say this. found myself one day feeling that I had a whisper because I was feeling um, like I was at my wit's end. And I had been in the Lord for a very long time. I wasn't a baby Christian. And there was so much darkness at that moment. I felt in the room. I had come to sing and do um, a cancer awareness event. And I found myself, you know, I was in a hotel by myself. And this darkness overcame me that night and told me some things that were not good, whispered, darkness. And I felt like I wanted to literally die. It's like all the emotions and all these feelings and all this stuff that had not healed. And I remember what I just said. I had been in the Lord for a long time already. Just welled up inside of me. And all I saw was darkness around me. It was one of those supernatural seconds that felt like it was hours. And what happened to me was I remembered what a pastor, my first pastor in New York said to me, Pastor Amy Cortese from Crossroads. If ever you find yourself in a tough place, in a really difficult place, even a dangerous place, and you have no words that you can speak, just say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. And I said that. And I tell you, it was like, at that moment, a friend called me on the phone. I told my friend what was happening on my cell phone. And I was able to now not only have someone to talk to, but somehow that darkness had dispersed. Years later, when I thought about that, a very frightening moment I had, I can tell you that I um, know that, that that spirit, that evilness that was outside of, of and around me wanted me to commit suicide. And I tell you that it's, it's unbelievable what happens to you at that moment in a sense of the oppression of the darkness. But what's even more unbelievable and fabulous is that there's a God, his name is Jesus, the son of God, that can help you get out of that darkness and out of that pit. He is the light and he has the power. So he's taking your eyes off the situation and putting them on God. I have heard stories of pastors, very, you know, awesome men of God that um, are um, 
very well versed and very studied and, and study the word and know the history. And they also have gone through a period of darkness. Some have taken three years to get out of that darkness and still had to preach it and still had to speak the word of God. But they saw their way through and they learned something great from it. Not only to um, sympathize with someone else that might be going through something hard, but to empathize with them. Listen, I, like I said, I keep thinking about single people. I was single and not married till I was 49. Things have changed, you know, before, you know, in the days of my parents, people would get married super early, 19, 20 years old, 21, really early. You know, um, that's not kind of what's happening now. And especially with all the stuff that's happening. Some people are divorced and, and they're single with children. Some people are single, period, never had married. I have friends like that that never married, never had kids. And they've had to just put at rest that they're not going to have children of their own. And I'm talking about men and women. And those are the sign of the times. That's just the way it is. But I, you know, when I was in my 30s and I was not married and I'm and I was walking with the Lord, as I said, um, I got really sad. I was like about 33, and I just asked. I said, "Oh my God, am I never gonna have a child?" And um, I knew that if I prayed a prayer, that God was gonna answer because He's faithful like that. He's faithful. So I said, "You know what, God? I'm getting older." And I could get at risk later. And I don't want to have a baby outside of a loving, godly marriage. That's my, my desire is not to do that. That's my choice. I desire not to do that. I said, Lord God, if it's not meant for me, obviously, I'm getting older to have a child and give me peace about it. And he did. So when I dated along the way within those years, 33, got married to 49, I wanted to know off the back if that man, because I would date younger men, had kids or wanted to have any more kids or have kids at all because that was a deal breaker for me i knew that i had peace that i was not going to have children out of my womb so when i met my husband that was an important question i didn't wait till later i wanted to know at the beginning he was he didn't want any more children he has a grown daughter he's okay with that so i said yes but i have peace so i mean there are things in your life that you thought you were supposed to have you were supposed to achieve and if you keep your eyes on those things only, then you will not be able to move forward into the reality of what God wants for you. And how do you know what God wants for you? Because you have to seek God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul so that you can be led by him. How do you get led? By the power of his Holy Spirit. Some of you say, I'm not a Christian. I don't want to hear all this. That's okay then let yourself guide yourself. See how that works for you. And the truth is it might work temporarily, but the word of God says that anything that's produced in the flesh by the natural means has to be kept in the flesh, right? If you're toiling the soil, the soil you put a seed, you have to have the right ground, you have to put the right water, there has to be a right timing, there has to be this, there has to be sunlight, whatever it is, right? And you're the one that has to keep up with that farm, right? But when it's God, that has planted that seed in you, that awesomeness in you. When it's God that you have allowed him to do that. And it's God that now is sending people like me or others to encourage you so they can um, uh, water that seed. But the one that's going to see it grow and watch it grow at its due time is God and his timing. Because his timing is perfect. So my little analogy there is to tell you. Life might be as such and such might be life right now, but you still got a lot of greatness in you, a lot of greatness to achieve, to go forward, to dream, to obtain, to be victorious, to be healthy, and to be even better than you were before. Because yesterday is yesterday, and tomorrow is not promised to us. So seize the day for today. Love what you do. Do it on to God. And if you have any questions about anything, which I didn't plan to talk about this, but I did. I wanted you to talk to me. Then please inbox me on any or comment on any of the venues that I am on now. And I'll be more than happy to um, pray for you or answer any questions you have that are more personal. Because I care. So if you see this video later, know that I will be checking the comments. I thank you for tuning in. 
please save the date. It's probably going to be December 11th or December 12th for my virtual birthday party. I got to see how we're going to hook this up because I still got lots to learn on how to work this thing out because somehow I don't see your comments on this, but I see them somewhere else. So thank you for tuning in this morning. Thank you. Now you have yourself a blessed day. And remember what I always say, sigue adelante. God bless you.